Should you get a visa? No, get a chihuahua. Problem solved. So getting a dog is a huge commitment of time and money and I wanted to be sure that I was getting the right breed for me. So for me, I wanted a dog that was loyal, smart, affectionate and what I visualized was going out on walks and running with the dog off leash. So that's something, they were the factors I was looking for in a dog. I live with my girlfriend so I went to the boss and asked, okay, I want to get a dog, uh, what? what dog can I get? And basically she said she wants one that's not too big and doesn't shed a lot and has low maintenance and was medium in size. So that's where I started off. Originally, I actually came to the conclusion to get a Doberman. From what I can tell and all of the research that I did was that a Doberman is loyal, they are affectionate, very smart, easy to train, low maintenance and they look really nice. So that was originally uh, my choice of breed. But then I came across Vigilas, and from what I can tell in terms of personality that they, they are similar to a Doberman. Now I'm aware a Doberman is a guard dog, a Vigilas is not their hunting dog, but in terms of personality and physically, they had a lot of similar characteristics. And then the more I learned about Vigilas was, that's basically when I figured out, yeah, that's the breed for me. The main reason I chose a Vigia over Doberman is probably the size. A female Vigia is going to be smaller than a Doberman. And it was my first dog, so I felt I may start off with a Vigia in the future I may get a Doberman. But I just felt like a Doberman as my first dog might be more challenging. I felt more comfortable getting a Vigia. Also, I was renting at the time, and there is stigma to Doberman dogs, especially in Ireland and Dublin. Even it was very rare for me to actually see one, and I felt like they're a bigger dog. Uh, the stigma, I actually researched, and for me, I learned that there really is no stigma, and that the fact that they're perceived in films negatively, uh, I don't agree with that. And in the future, I may, I may very well get a Doberman, but. Uh, Considering I was renting and with landlords and neighbors, I thought it may be an issue and I didn't want that stress. So another thing was the price. When I reached out to breeders in Ireland for uh, quotes for the price of a Doberman puppy, uh, I, was, I was quoted 3,500 euro for one and they were way more expensive uh, than Vigilas where I was getting quotes for half the price. So that was definitely another big factor uh, in my decision. When researching about Vigilas, I actually ran into a Hungarian woman while I was in the park one day who had told me that 10 years ago there was only three Vigilas in the Republic of Ireland. Now I don't know how factual that is, but I do think it's accurate in terms of they used to be very rare and they are still quite rare. Uh, you can probably tell from my previous video uh, that Vigilas can be, people ask all the time, okay, well, what breed are them where I've never heard of them. So they are rare enough. And um, so once I figured out that I was interested in the breed, the more I learned about them, the more intrigued I was. If you're strongly considering a Vigla, do be aware they are high energy. Maya, my dog now, I've had her in six months and she's nonstop, she's just nonstop go from the minute I let her out of the crate in the morning until I put her back in. Uh, she is very high energy. I've spent a lot of time with a Schnauzer dog recently and the difference 10 minutes into them playing, the Schnauzer's tired, whereas Maya can go for another kind of hour or two, can just keep going nonstop. So do be aware that, you know, there are certain breeds of dogs that you can get that would not need that much exercise. But if you're getting a visa that you will be put to the test and you need to be active with them a lot of the day. So I work from home as well. So I was aware that I would be with Maya all day. She's very rarely on her own. Um, I also knew that I'd be available to let her outside very often, bring her for walks, have been going on runs with her, uh, try getting her loads of toys, which inevitably she just absolutely destroys. But that's uh, maybe a video for another day. Um, so if you're someone who maybe works in an office all day and when they come home, you just want to relax, watch Netflix, uh, and maybe not be with an active dog. There are a lot of dogs that have been very popular lately over the last couple of years, like Cavapoos and French Bulldogs. Those dogs would be more suited maybe to that lifestyle. So 
do be aware if you get a Vigla, it's not similar to a French Bulldog or a dog that you can just spend an hour with at the end of your day and has little uh, kind of energy. A Vigla is very high energy, is very demanding and will have a lot of anxiety and separation anxiety if you're not spending time with them. So that's the only thing I would say is to, if you're getting one, be certain within yourself that you are committed to the dog, that you're going to have loads of exercise with the dog. You're always going to be there or someone else is always going to be available for the dog as they're not designed to be kind of locked away all day and then to be let out for an hour of the day. And um, so, yeah, that's probably a main tip I would give to you as someone who's had a visa for like six months or so. So I've talked a lot about the things to be cautious of, um, but if you are strongly considering it, Maya is the friendliest dog I've ever met. I'm probably biased, but at the same time, when I go outside, everyone she sees, she's friendly with, wants to play with. Anyone, I've gone to the groomers with her a few times, she, the person there always tells me she's one of the friendliest dogs she's ever met. Any Vizlas that I've met in public are typically very friendly, unless they're older dogs because they have no time for puppies, but that's across all breeds. Um, and the, the reason, one of the main experiences I had was I was in the park, this was a few months before I got Maya, and I met a Vizla and it was exactly like Maya. She came right up to me, wanted to, it was as if she knew me and was just so happy and playful. And uh, I'm delighted that I chose to get a Vizla myself. At times it is challenging because you just, you know, sometimes I'm lazy or whatever. I don't want to go out running or walking or play, but I have to. And I knew that before I committed to getting the breed and I've had no trouble with her. She behaves very well, I barks very little and um, it's just very loving and everyone that's met her says she's a great dog. So if you do get a Vigla, uh, best of luck, enjoy it. And um, yeah, thanks very much for watching the video.